Hello everybody, this is Scott and today we will be reviewing a shampoo win optimizer 10. Uh, it's basically, you can think of it as like an advanced system carrier version that eShampoo made. And it works in a very simple manner. It will clean up the excess files, defragment the hard drive, and it will clean up processes that are using too much memory. So we're basically going to have it start a search. And... Man, it's saying it's found quite a few errors. I wonder why. Alright, found 504 errors. Most of them are relying in the protection. What is what are these? Can I get administrative remote registry service, blah 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 blah. Windows. So we're just gonna tell it to fix it. Not all fish issues are fixed. All click one symbol to find out what was not fixed. Zero issues. How can there be zero issues? but no issues. Isn't that the same thing? Zero issues versus no... Alright, that's strange, but I'm not... Oh, oh, it says now there's one. That doesn't exist, so just delete the key. Alright, now we're going to go to the modules that it has. This is kind of like the toolbox again from advances the care. You got registry defrag, you got a defrag, internet cleaner, registry optimizer, driver cleaner, and one click optimize. This basically does all these for you right away. See? Goes through, deletes, and optimizes the drive. Very simple. Come over here, you got a defrag, registry defrag. When you defrag the registry, it just moves all the files back. To, it works basically the same way as a defrag, but only applies to registry items in keys. You got an internet cleaner, mostly cleans up the cookies, your cache, just useless stuff that gets left around. Service manager will watch uh, what's running on the computer. Startup tuner will kind of monitor the items that are running and rec give you recommendations. For instance, if I click on this, it's going to give me recommendations on what to do with my startup items. It's got to find the settings and it's like, okay, these are good. It doesn't tell me that it doesn't recommend it to me. I come over to my internet tuner. It's going to make my, it's just going to make them run faster. And we're going to tell it to adjust automatically. Seven settings were changed. Now it should be faster for me to access the internet. There's no really efficient way to test the, how well it does. I just kind of, you just click on how things load and if it's better. I mean, that's actually pretty fast compared to what Internet Explorer used to do. Come over here real quick. I'm just going to clean up RAM. All right. Favorites. These are the most common ones that I've used. The not really important. Backups. I can run. I can do registry backups and Internet backups. And anything that's really changed, you can do a backup of it and restore it in case it breaks something. I never had a program really break anything except for, like, their last program, the hard drive. HGDD optimizer where it basically broke the virtual machine and I had to reset it and remove the program. That's just because it can't monitor a fake drive. I can do a backup management and I'll just watch all my other backups, delete old ones, restore them, very simple stuff. File tools, these are, I can encrypt, I can encrypt the file and we've already gone over encryption on several occasions, which means I just scramble the information and basically I send them the key. So if in any case the person copies the file and tries to take it with them, if they don't have the key that I sent to the other guy, well then they can't access the file. Link Checker will make sure all these items have a proper shortcut, which they do. File Wiper will just securely delete a file by doing uh, many overwrites of it. And I believe the Gutnam is the highest one with, I believe, 32 overwrites, which is where you delete the file, you you cover the space, you cover the space, you cover the space, delete, 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 and done, 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 done. And it should be wiped. However, even then, it can still be retrieved. And free space available essentially means... This is one where a lot of people get confused and they think it optimizes the computer. It technically doesn't. Windows keeps has like the free space where there is no items. The blocks don't exist there. So they could be written on, they can have items added. When you wipe the free space, if there are any frag if it has any information from previous items on there, it's going to cover the space. So essentially it's just going to if there's any chance of someone retrieving the information, they can't really retrieve it because it, what it'll do is it will go in and it will wipe the free space by adding a bunch of blank files 
it'll just say okay um, it'll just give like blank files so it'll just add them all over the blank space free space and then we'll delete them it'll do it again and it'll do it up to 30 32 times <clears throat> to make sure that there's no information that can be retrieved so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the video if you have any questions comments or concerns please post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them thank you very much for watching and goodbye